What is up everyone, welcome back to the channel, I'm back again with a video and I'm quite a little bit different I pretty much say that most videos these days um, I thought I'd do, a sort of not, not necessarily a top 5 but a sort of 5 highlighted covers um, or favourite covers um, not these aren't necessarily favourite covers in my comic collection but these are definitely 5 books that necessarily sort of stand out or like or if you don't if you down from my collection probably stand out a little bit more than <coughs> than most. Um so I've done I tried to do a little bit of variation of DC. Actually apart from one book, it's pretty much all DC. I tried to do a bit of old old and new books that I'm currently reading, some books I want I want to start building a run of, some that are characters I want to sort of get to know a little bit more. Or educate myself from because I'm only human. I'm not as educated as most people in the comic book sphere, if you will. Um, I'm gonna try and sort of do a bit more comic book related stuff. A, because I've got the books there. It's easy, in a sense, easy content for me to do. B, it's sort of Gives me an excuse to do content for the channel and see it gives me a reason to branch out with this channel. Um, <clears throat> not just gaming, I'm sort of, it's, it's getting <coughs> other people, like comic fans, into the channel, building that community, making it stronger, which is part of the, yeah, it's it, part of the reason why I've done YouTube in the first place was to build. Sorry about checking the fucking table. To help um, me meet like-minded individuals in the things I'm nerdy about. Um, I'm the surprise. I'm the surprise for you people by I'm not done. To, none of these books are Kevin Smith related. None of them are Kevin Smith related. Um, because that would have been a, a little bit unfair. Um, but I'm looking into it and. Actually, before I actually mention the first book, I need to look. I have to sort of look at the back of the book to sort of um, get the name because it ain't on the cover. It's well, I think it's called a virgin cover. I'm still, I'm still learning terminology in the comic world. So, people are comic book experts, or know more than I do, will probably know more of the terminology better than I do. I think a Virgin cover is basically it's just a picture, no wording, no, no nothing on it. Um, and this is the one of the first one I'll show you is a book that I picked up recently. Actually, two of these books I picked up recently. But this one is a book that I picked up from EGX <coughs> when I was going through the while I still had like a two pound, all the, uh, a few bins of comics which were all like two quid a piece. Um, Always have a bit of picked up. Actually, well, actually, two of the books I'm going to show in this right in this video. Three books I'm going to show are from EGX. Two of them are from the same book. <coughs> um, but this is this. It's all, initially the cover piques my interest. <coughs> At the moment, is part of the reason why I pick up. I, apart from the runs I'm actually, part of the books I'm actually getting a run of, like. I pick up on every Wednesday books that I'm learning or want to build a collection. I'm picking up by the characters I'm gonna learn more of, which one of them is that. Uh, covers, which a lot of these are. Yeah, I'm basically um, fill, in, fill in the blanks of my knowledge, if you will. And this one is done, honey. <coughs> Um, when I, when, again, when they, this, for me, this is just a beautiful cover. Now, when they had, they had I think I showed you before, they had in it. Um, and yeah, it's, first, it's, a, it's just a beautiful cover. I would, like, I would happily have this framed. Um, actually, right, that's all shit. Just, just for shits and giggles. Um, I'm going to show the titties. Um, or is it in the book they sort of show, um, other, fuck my life. 
Uh, they show that the other covers for that book, this book, this this one is definitely my favourite. But for the fellow pervs, this. Um. So yeah, it's it's just a it's again. It was a cover that sort of piqued me interest, but when I when I was obviously looking for the bins that he checks, back of my life. I sort of said to my mate of mine, like, um, I might get it, I might get it, but I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I think mean, there was like three or four bins, like, every, but every every bin has at least one copy. No, that's probably minimum two copies. I'm like, fuck it, I've got to get it. It's basically a sign from the gods. The Pervy does, but the gods on the list. <clears throat> so, that's that one. Um, next one is probably one of my oldest books in my collection, which me being relative news to getting older books ain't saying much um so this one is again an EGX purchase this was my my last purchase from EGX on the third that third day I done when I met up of um Metro UK and Scoop World this book is from on deck, I want it right, June I said that's 93 to me. This was 60 pence when you I paid a fiver for it, and that is Batman 495 with poison ivy on the front cover of Becky torturing Batman. Um I remember I think I mentioned I think I mentioned in the video I picked this up um when I went to London when well, I worked to London Film Comic Con in July, <clears throat> there was a bird, well, probably five foot and a half feet, nice juicy peachy ass, dressed up as that version of Poison Ivy. And you probably know with Poison Ivy on the sort of leaf part of a suit, it goes up her crack. This bird honoured that and done it up her crack. Now, I personally didn't trust myself getting close, as much as I wanted to get a picture of the birds, I Personally, didn't trust myself because I didn't, I, I didn't want to get arrested. Basically, it's just that simple. So with that, um, yeah, that that was part of the reason I got the book. Obviously, it's <clears throat> I'm a big Batman fan, so that is was a good little purchase for my Batman set. <clears throat> and let me trust. No, I'll, I'll do more female. <clears throat> <clears throat> this next one is, <clears throat> I think it was actually a reissue, <clears throat> to my knowledge, but I think an original can go for a little bit of money, <clears throat> but then people that know more than me educate me in the comments, that's what the comments are there for, or not to be assholes to help each other out, and that is, <clears throat> uh, I'm confused by numbers, so one of my codes is, it says number one. <clears throat> well, that's the number one of the Dora book comics, I'm not sure. But next within the title is number tw it says number 12. So I'm confused. But there's ba The Bat Girls, number 12. <coughs> Love this one, cover. got Bat Girl, Poison Ivy, and Harley Quinn. So what the fucking blur. That's a whole. I love this cover. <coughs> um, <coughs> my voice. Um, I think I said this on recently. Um, I think it's probably like a reissue sort of thing. But I said to someone recently um, that I've been sort of really enjoying um, the female characters um, for some reason. It's casually covering my face when I'm talking. Um, Yes, yeah, so I've been really enjoying female characters. Um, uh, part of me is obviously the pervy side of me, but at the same, part at the same time, is I mean, apart from there's a few guy I've been but Batman read, definitely to read, which is a bit of this for a book in this video. Uh, but as a whole, it's, it seems I'm enjoying more bat, bat, more female characters. First, it was I think the front cover was a more often than not, for me, better than the die ones. Um, like the male characters, 
but also sometimes the most not the for me the stories are a lot better. Um, which is part of the reason why the sons books I want I want it more knowledge of is Batgirl. <laughs> which I think it was meant to, it meant to be a film later on this year, but it got cancelled, unfortunately. Um For every reason, not cancelled. From what I was told, it was actually done. Um, but shit happens. Uh, last of the second to last book, but last of the female characters. <coughs> another <coughs> fuck my life. <coughs> female, another female character. Um, but again, it's very, very poison ivy heavy. This video. Sorry about that. And that is, this is, I don't know, from EGX, this is a <coughs> variant of Poison Ivy issue one that started June time. Um, I want to say June time, yes, the, the normal cover had to the, in the number one logo, the Pride logo. I think that and that was when Pride was, if I remember correctly. <coughs> and that is obviously, I don't know, I said, a variant of, um, Point on it if you want, and get the ball because um, it's it's annoying that they've got a little bit of dentage there, but uh, I don't give a shit. Um, again, I it's strange. I've got a sort of not necessarily love hate relationship with Poison Ivy. It's I've always said I love the character Poison Ivy. Clearly, I'm picking up uh, Poison Ivy books and picking up books with Poison Ivy in it. But for me, in a sense, she's especially with the Tim Burton film. She was kind of sexualized. She kind of is in the books in a way, a little bit. But at the same time, but if you take away that, she's. I think I said before. Primarily with the DC villains, there's with, with a lot of them you can sort of see good, the good qualities in them. Despite doing bad, but with Poison Ivy, <laughs> despite going the way she's going, all she wants to do is basically save the planet. Which, if that if 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 she's a villain in book and all she wants to do is save the planet, fuck me! Look, there's a lot of people out there in real life who are, te by definition, villains. Um, most scientists, are, in that sense, are villains. Most people in power, are, like in government, are villains. You know, it's because of that. By her, definite, by definition of her, of what she is in the Batman law, most people in real life are villains. Just put that there. And by the way, that her like that. I don't remember in this book. I can't read so many books. If she has the poison slips in this book. I'll happily get that death. Um, one bit, one bit I want to know, right? <clears throat> this is the pervy side of my brain, so please bear with me. If her mouth lips are, po are, venom are venomous, basically if you die by her mouth lips, if you kiss her pussy lips, is it the same sort of thing? That's food that's for thought, that's food for Um, Because either way, I'll die either way. Um, <laughs> That's a fashion perv. Um, last book is like a highlighted sort of cover, and that is my death. This is Deathstroke issue seven. I didn't saw it about the fucking glare. Um, this I, I do not remember. This is a variant cover by Ivan Tag. I think fact it says it on the on the <coughs> I mean, the barcodes. I would have literally forgot. <coughs> Um, with the Deathstroke series, the Deathstroke Inc. book, I thought it was a mere six issue book. It's now to like fucking issue 13, and basically like interweaving other fucking book, other stories. <coughs> um, it's to the point now where I'm, <coughs> fuck my life. Um, I now want to jump off it, but at the same time, I don't want to jump off it because I'm a fucking massive Deathstroke fan. <coughs> I still want a Deathstroke movie. Hashtag Deathstroke film. So, um, 
Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they're, the, they're my highlighted covers. <clears throat> I probably at some point go through my entire comic book collection. I show it off. I, I might do a yearly thing of like, this is what I've got now. In terms of a yearly thing, I'm not 100% sure. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so hope you've enjoyed the videos. Uh, the videos. The video. If you'd like to sort of see more of this type of comment, comment, content of comic book related stuff, I'm sort of more than the table. Uh, if you want more of this sort of content of me talking about comic books, like favorite covers, books I'm currently reading, books I picked up recently, whatever, please comment down below. Um, because if you don't, if you guys don't tell me, I won't know, and I'll just put cotton town towel and it will do shit because you guys ain't telling me. So. Hope you enjoyed. Um, again, comment down below what you think. And uh, yeah, ciao for now, guys. And uh, speak to you soon.